Fine, I'll say it. Home buyers who are looking to buy in 2023, they're in for a rude awakening. Do you remember the feeling it was like when someone told you that Santa Claus isn't real? Eh, you probably don't remember that exact moment, but you most likely have a feeling of how crushing that was. Well, get ready to be crushed all over again because those doom and gloomers, they've been lying to you. Hi, it's Jeff Chubb. I'm a recovering investment banker turned real estate agent. I've sold more than a thousand houses and I'm one of the state's top agents. Let me know if you have any real estate questions because I'm here to help. So why will it feel like a rug has been pulled out from underneath of you when you start looking for a new home? It's because for the last seven months or so, all you have been hearing about is that the the sky is falling and the real estate market is going to crash. Worse than 2008. But the problem is, it hasn't and it doesn't look like it will. First and most importantly, it's important to remember that real estate it's local. Talking about the national real estate market is as dumb as talking about the national average for today's temperature and if it's cloudy or rainy. Again, real estate is local. Some markets, well, they're going to perform better than others. But an overwhelming problem to the doom and gloomers who are extremely focused on demand is that they ignore the supply side of the curve. You can't have housing prices crash without a glut of supply. And we're just simply not seeing that. Here in Massachusetts, the number of home sales are at around 2012 levels, but inventory is is six times lower than it was at that time. And as a historical reference point, in 2012, we saw home prices go up by 0.87%. Do you really expect home prices to crash when the sales are relatively the same, but the supply is six times lower? And which by the way, is the third lowest in history? The rude awakening is that there is no crash and there won't be one. You may see some markets, they'll go down a little, but be prepared because the Fed rate cuts, they're just around the corner. You don't believe me? Then ask the inverted yield curve. The rude awakening is that the folks who were planning on jumping in when prices fell, well, they're not going to see prices fall and we'll see yet another buying opportunity just fly right out the window. You want to hear something crazy? NerdWallet did a study and found that 28 million people or 11% of the population are waiting to buy a home if home prices fall. That's the other side of the coin on why prices in most markets won't crash or even fall. If they were to start falling just a little bit, then people waiting on those sidelines, they'd rush back in and push those prices right back up. The real rude awakening will be five years from now when they look back at, well, what could have been. I can remember a lot of home buyers back in 2017 saying that they were going to wait until prices went down. And I really hope they weren't holding their breath because this one, this one's going to sting. Say if they did end up buying that house in 2017 for, I don't know, $500,000, thousand dollars. Well, home prices in 2018 went up by 5.2%, then 3.1% in 2019, 11.9% in 2020, plus 14.8% in 2021, and then 8.8% .8 in 2022. And that's in Massachusetts, by the way. That $500,000 house would be worth 758 grand. Ouch. All while continuing to throw more and more money away paying down a landlord's mortgage. That stings, or I guess it's what we could call a rude awakening. Moving to a new state could work for you, but with that new state will most likely come with a new job and a lower salary to be adjusted for that new cost of living. Not to mention that the secret is out. Have you seen the prices in some of these inbound areas like Dallas? Buy or don't buy, that's your choice. But don't try to outsmart the market fundamentals. In order for there to be a housing crash, there needs to be a decrease in demand and huge increase in supply. We've got one of those. Well, kind of one because demand's coming back strong in a lot of markets throughout the United States. Are you curious as to why you don't want interest rates to go down and check out the video at the end again my name is Jeffrey Chubb whether you're looking to buy or sell in the next nine or 90 days then I'm your guy all of my contact information it's in the description below or you can reach out to me at youtuberealestateagent.com until next time